all right what is up people welcome back to yet another video um we are just going to be continuing with the unreal third person shooter series unreal engine 5 even and um, i made some stuff in between or I, I i fixed the recoil a little bit whoops what happened there so oh yeah yep. i know what it is um so um i just cleaned up the recoil a little bit so what we got now is when i shoot it goes back down A little bit nicer i think a lot of game does it like this so as long as you control it it's gonna be around the same also we should do the automatic the uh, rifle but this is fine for now um so just some some quick cleanup stuff i'm gonna show you how to do that first i already did it because i had to experiment so i'm just gonna walk you through it and it's actually super easy um so we have our recoil function client add recoil that that fires when we fire the weapon so just i just added this uh, save the control rotation to a variable called starting control rotation or you can call it whatever you want to um, and then so yours I guess yours probably looks like this only so you have this so add this and then after we do this uh, recoil timeline from the finish node drag out and create another timeline we're gonna call this reset maybe reset recoil timeline and in it we created a float track just right click and add key to float curve so the first one is zero zero the second one is 0 0.25 and the value is one so for 0 0.25 seconds it's gonna go back um, bum, bum, bum. so basically what we do is from the update just grab your player controller so the recoil works with we us adding pitch and your input so basically we just need to reset that's why we save this variable so this is like the control rotation before we add the pitch and your input so that's why we save this so then we can reference this as the point of where we should return but every time we fire we get a new starting control rotation so it resets every time we fire so that's why you can't like spam uh, and when we're finished, we do the timeline, we get the play, uh, play controller. Uh, and then we need to set a new rotation. And the new rotation we're going to set is back to this starting control rotation. But we don't just want to set it. We don't just want to set it like this, because then it would snap. And that doesn't look very nice. So instead, we're going to lerp it. So you're gonna get the control rotation and you're gonna lerp it with uh, here. So it's gonna look like this. You're gonna split the B pin and from it's gonna go from the control rotation, but we wanna so grab this again, grab the get control rotation and split it because we want the Z, the jaw, which is the sideways rotation to remain the same so that's not going to change so it's going to be the same from the get control rotation and we add pitch and yaw input on the recoil so that's what we need to reset we need to reset the pitch and the roll not yaw pitch and roll and the alpha is going to be the value of the timeline that we made so that's super easy. Um, just a quick way to actually add some uh, some nicer recall. This is also you don't have to do this. I just noticed a lot of games does this, but what we can also do is actually we can go in here and we can do a 
auto right click auto just to make it a little bit smoother doesn't really matter I don't think you will notice any difference and You could, I guess maybe it's a little bit too slow. Let's try 0 0.15. Yeah, still good. So we're gonna be happy with that. And that's pretty much it, just a quick fix. Um, let me know in the comments if there's any questions and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.